In the district, some youngsters are keeping out of trouble by playing chess. Two years ago, the U.S. Chess Center opened its doors with the purpose of bringing chess to inner city kids. Tonight, the center sponsored a high-powered game with students from Eastern High School. And News 4's Kathy Hobbs was there. In the game chess, concentration means everything. These teens from Eastern High School know chess can sharpen their minds and show their skill even against experienced opponents. Chess really challenges you. And I feel like, you know, it's a, it's a really tough challenge. You might say it's just a game, when in reality, it's just like real life, you know. I just think that a lot of people, if they get into chess, you know, it'll make a lot of things better. And according to their coach, chess has made things better for a lot of Eastern students. Well, we've had kids in very serious trouble who started playing chess and slowly got out of trouble and became chess champions. And, and they've moved on to be, live very productive lives when they were headed for something much worse. Eastern High School now has one of the best chess teams in the city. But at this tournament, the challenge wasn't just about winning. Instead of playing against just another school, Eastern's chess team went up against opponents who usually show their skill in a courtroom, attorneys, and even this Court of Appeals judge. The judge was paired against Eastern's top player. From the start, these two guys were the ones to watch. He has a style uh, which starts with uh, his gradually uh, constricting you and pushing you. You felt like I was being pushed off the edge of the board. And by the end of the game, everything just fell to pieces. My game plan was basically to clog the game up and not let him breathe. And for let me, to let me control the game, which I basically did. The judge lost 2-0. to zero. Perhaps this tournament showed what competitive attorneys and high school kids have in common. To win, the key wasn't age or experience, just the moves you made. Kathy Hobbs, News 4, Washington.